Welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gerben from Excel is Fun. Mike came up with a doozy today. Let's take a look at the problem. All right, so someone sent in this data. We have words and a date. Sometimes a date, sometimes not a date. They want to put the words in column B and the date, if it appears, in column C. All right, oh, this is just going to be tough. And I love this. The first date is takes up only four, five, six, seven, eight characters, and the last date takes up, takes up ten characters. Uh, 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 this is not the best solution, but it's the one that I can come up with without shooting over to some VBA. Uh, so equal date value of the right of that text over there, comma, nine. Using nine because that way, even if it is eight or nine characters on the right-hand side, I'll pick up that space and the date value continues to work. All right, so that's good. But when I copy that down, uh, I see that I get uh, some value errors here. Well, there wasn't a date. And some value errors here because the date is longer than what I expected. So let's do this. Equal if error. All right, so we look for that first thing. And then we will say, otherwise, I want the date value of the right of a2 comma 10. That'll get the longer values. And of course, we want to keep hitting right parentheses until we get to the black one. And then we know that we have a right. Let's copy that down. All right, good. So that gets all of my dates in. We still have the value errors. Not sure what we want to do for those value errors. So I'm going to go back and edit this formula one more time. And I'm going to use a second if error. Second if error. So we say, hey, if that whole thing evaluates to an error, then I just want quote, quote. Let's see. Copy that down. All right, now we're getting the dates and we're getting blanks when there is no date. All right, so far, so good. Uh, you know, then I thought, well, hey, this is going to be a piece of cake. I'll just subtract the length of what we have over here. But to my horror, equal LEN of that date, uh, it is always showing up as 5. If there's a date there, we're getting 5. Otherwise, we're getting 0. Uh, okay, so equal if the length of cell C2 is equal to 0, well, then there was no date. I just want the value from over there in column A. All right, that works out great, right? Um, otherwise, then we have to do something a little bit harder. We're going to use the left of A2. How long do we want? Well, we want the length of A2 minus the length of well, we can't just use C2. I'm going to use the text of C2 and then in quotes M slash D slash Y, 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 Y. What that'll do is it'll take the underlying date that we calculated out there in C2. It's going to format it uh, so it appears as it appears over on the right hand side. It's going to figure out the uh, length of that whole thing. Now I have the parenthesis here in the wrong spot. There we go. So the length of that and then close out the left function and copy it down. You'll see we get uh, check, rent for month, transportation, in office party, office EQ, and then you know, it looks like it is working. Wow, Mike, I hope you have something more elegant than that because uh, that was ugly, ugly. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, I'm still going to have to go cameraless this week because my operating system still is not working with my camera. Hey, Mr. Excel, ugly? I don't think so. That was totally awesome. Date value text? Beautiful. I would have never thought to do that. Now, I'm going to do something totally different, and I guess that's what's so awesome about these duels. Totally different approaches. Now, if you say yours is ugly, then mine's going to be ugly too, because, uh, and probably we should just say uh, they're um, elegantly ugly or something like that. All right, I'm going to look through this uh, data set here and notice that for dates, there's a forward slash. So I'm going to try and find the position of each one of these forward slashes using the search function. Hey, the text I'm looking for in quotes, forward slash, comma, within what? Uh, relative cell reference, one to my left. That'll just give me the position. So that starts with eight, 17. There's some value errors there. We'll deal with that later. All right, so now that'll give me the position and I can use left. Now, with this range still highlighted in the active cell right there, I'll hit F2. 
and I will go left of what? This text right here, comma, that. So it'll actually extract that. But wait a second, that won't work because it found that and it found that. Well, let's just think about this. One, two, three, that would give me the space. One, two, three, that would give me the K, right? So I'm just going to subtract three. Now that'll give me an extra space. Right, we'll deal with that in uh, just a moment here. And I'm actually going to check this down here. Equals LEN, that's the length. All right, so it's giving me six and it should be five, one, two, three, four, five. Now it really doesn't matter if you're just visually looking at this, but if you're using it as a lookup, it might matter. So I'm going to go trim. Trim gives you a haircut or puts you on a diet. No, no, no. It just removes the spaces except for single spaces between uh, words. So. That's looking good. We can see we have our five. So the only thing left to do is, if this is an error, then please give me the whole contents of the cell. So I'm going to hit F2. And I'm actually going to use the search as the trigger. I'll use a, t a 2003, an earlier method here. We'll do the if error. Totally awesome new function. But I'll do, uh, how about this, if. And then remember, the search gave us a number or a, uh, an error. So I'm going to say is error. I use this one right here. That's all errors, including NAs. And then I'm going to Control V for that search. So now, logical test, I put a comma. Now, if it comes out an error, what, what do I want? Value of two. I want to show one cell to my left. Otherwise, I want to show that uh, formula I just had there. Close parentheses. Control Enter to repopulate the column with the formula. And there it is. That looks pretty good right there. Now, extracting the date. I'm going to notice that these values are already here. And I can uh, count the length of it and then count in from this length and then know that that's the position I want. And I extract everything uh, after it. So I'm going to use the replace. Replace. The old text is right here. And what replace needs is a starting number. I want to start at 1, comma, and then the number of characters I want to replace, all the way to LEN. Now there's going to be a problem here because there'll be an extra space. But that should work all right. So from 1 to the length of that, I want to, uh, comma, new text, double quote for blank, close parentheses. Control Enter. I can already see there's a space there. So I'm going to give it a haircut or a diet trim, close parentheses. And then I'm going to Control Enter to populate all those cells. Now that's a date as text. And I'm simply going to hit F2 in any operation on a date as text, whether it's times 1 or plus 0, we'll convert it back to a date. So I'm going to plus 0. Finally, uh, I'm going to steal Mr. Excel's trick here, that just beautiful new function in 2007. It really does make uh, it easier, and it makes a lot of spreadsheets calculate faster, because you don't have to run this twice. We had to run the search twice over here. So I value, comma, and then just uh, double quote for if error. Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. All right, uh, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Mike, excellent. I love the search. I never use search. Replace was cool. I was about to yell at you because you were going to come up with text dates out there instead of real dates. And then you did the plus zero to convert it all back to dates. Uh, gorgeous solution. Great to be doing these dueling Excel podcasts again. I want to thank everyone for uh, stopping by. See you next week for another dueling Excel podcast from Excel is Fun and Mr. Excel.